ready to die! That's power. <gasps> yeah, I don't feel that. Hi, I'm Tim Kennedy, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to turn anything in your office into an absolutely deadly weapon. In the Belko experiment, 80 coworkers are locked in their office and forced in a kill or be killed scenario that they have to survive. So I'm going to show you and intern Katie, if you're stuck in a Belko experiment, what you can do to survive. Let's do this! Yes, yes, yes. We want every advantage. We don't want to fight fair. We want to cheat at every opportunity. So we're going to try to make pepper spray. Cayenne pepper. Tabasco, the more the merrier, right? The higher the alcohol, the better. That's going to give somebody, at least to a degree, an inhibited ability to fight. <laughs> The aerosol can flamethrower. In every office, you're gonna find aerosol cans. Anything that's alcohol-based and flammable. Lighters, you can find them anywhere. Super simple. <laughs> the paper cutter machete. The arm armor. It's essentially just paper and tape. Somebody's coming at you, it gives you that one moment, that automatic instinctual block, bam, block, bam. I would die. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Don't shy away because you want to get up there and block power. I'm not sorry. No, you're not sorry. Not sorry. You're not sorry for surviving. That's what this not is. Not sorry. How are you gonna die? Ah! Let's keep looking. Okay. Motorcycle equipment is pretty much body armor. So the jackets are puncture proof. Some of them are even made of Kevlar, and that's what body armor is made out of. Yeah, I don't feel that. No one would ever think a sock to be deadly, but you take said ball, drop it inside. That's gonna kill him for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's powerful. David and Goliath. Yeah. Let's we'll um, we'll slow. Let's, can I see that? There we go. This is an electrical trap. Extension cord. Grab your scissors and yeah. you clog up the sink. You fill up the floor with water. Now there's gonna be three different wires that are in here, and we want to get to all of them. Um, I'm just gonna plug it into the wall. What? Right. No! Don't don't okay. do that. Yeah. Cause why? We're a team. Yeah, we are a team. But what would happen to you? You would die. Now, we have water pouring on the floor. Get into a safe place, stand and wait for somebody to come in and plug the wire in. We're essentially gonna be making a blow dart, which we're gonna make out of just a regular shoelace. Cut it right here. Now we just fray this. This is darts and crafts. <laughs> we're gonna just take the needle, and slide it right up the center, and we're gonna dip that in poison. So, I mean, we're, we're ready to rock right now. Straight to the heart. I think you're ready to go. I think you're a survivor. Do you feel like you could kill, that you could get out of an office? If you were in the Belco experiment, could you get out? I, I don't wanna get out. I want no one to ever have to use these things. But if you do, be the hardest person somebody ever tries to kill.